Alright guys, today we've got a removable uh, print surface for the resin printer that I have from Cutie Tech. And the magnetic So I guess the whole idea, you know, you, you print on it and you peel this off of that plate. Wow, that's strong. Oh, no way. Well, we're going to see how this works. Um, apparently, somebody must have used this and returned it because the sticky is already off the back of the magnet and it was stuck to the back of the plate. So that's lovely. First, you want to clean your print surface. And I tried soaking it in uh, acetone to try to get the little remnants off of there. I couldn't do that, so I went to using a razor blade. Oh, there's still a high spot right there. And trying to carefully scrape this off without scraping this bed up too much. But at any rate, that's as good as I could get it. And you just want to see if I can do this left-handed. Put the camera on the wrong side. Man, this is, there's so much crap on the back of this. Tell you what, that is sticky. So maybe it'll hold, I don't know. All right, so just, Line up your your edges like that, and you want to kind of work from the the center. And try to get the bubbles out. That way, you don't end up with high spots. Although this is pretty thick, so even if there was a high spot, I don't know that it'd be all that high. It fits fairly nicely. It seems like it should work, I guess. Have to see how hard it is to get all that residue off of there. And then you do want to go ahead and trim extra off, which is kind of a shame because it didn't quite go all the way this way. But I don't want to take the chance of trying to move this thing since it was already pre-used. But you do want to trim this, that way you don't end up with getting um, resin up underneath there. And the sides fit real nice. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. By the way, I would put this under Amazon's problem, not uh, full mint because this was shipped through Amazon and not directly from the manufacturer. 
So I'm guessing somebody ordered it. Maybe it was the wrong one. They didn't pay attention to what they had ordered and went ahead and tried to install it and did an oh crap. I'm just going to ship it back. Alright, I'm going to have to go get some acetone, a.k.a. my wife's uh, fingernail polish remover. Alright, so let's see how this works. And that seems to be working. Normally, I would get a hold of the company and ask them if they could send out the replacement part a new magnet, but i kind of been waiting on this so I can print stuff. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try it and see what happens. Come on, let go. Alright, yeah, it seems to have uh, cleaned up really nicely. That should work, so long as the uh, magnet stays mounted to the, the build surface here. There it is on there. Just use your that little corner piece to pry it off. And life should be good. Of course now the fun thing is I get to go uh, recalibrate the printer over there. And uh, See if this works without printing a wedge so I'll be back all right guys so I got the magnet installed now we're over here get out getting ready to calibrate it to do that get out the large allen wrench or allen key and uh, using this bolt up here set screw like that, which then allows this guy to pivot. You don't want your tray in the way, or at least not with uh, the Shadow 5.5. So we're set that guy out of the way. And then you place in your, is it this one? Yeah. Place it in there. You want to go into your tools option or menu and then manual and you want to home it you think I knew all that but look it's actually right there on the paper and you want both pieces on there the magnet and the build surface And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, there's a little metal um, tang back there, and I bent it down just a little bit to try to take up this space. So then you want to square this off. No, nope, I take that back. 
then you want to uh, get this so it's tight on here. So you get this under there, it's loose, hit down until it starts tightening up on the paper. You want it to still be able to move. So once you got it tightened up like that, then you take your large Allen wrench again and tighten it up, not loosen it. And that's what happened last time. It tightens it because the way this one works is you have a set screw that comes down, pushes on a little cylinder with a concaved end on it that a ball sits in that the plate screws to. So when you tighten this up, it pushes everything down, which then makes this paper so tight that if I pulled this, it'd rip it right now. So we're going to go back up. And for some reason on mine, even when I got it brand new, um, when I did the initial calibration for this, this side over here is tighter than the rest of it. And the way this is set up, it shouldn't do that. So I don't know what's going on with that. So far, I haven't had any um, you know, prints that aren't sticking to the surface. We'll see if that continues to be the case once I get this going with the new uh, removable build surface. Uh, so anyways, all right, so we got that where we want it. The paper can still be moved. You hit the back arrow, you go to set C to zero, and hit continue. It says this resets the zero position on, or the zero position, continue, and you hit confirm. And now, once you go in here, no, don't do that, stop. You can hit up, and then hit home, and it should go right back to the same spot. If you guys hit the wrong direction with the arrows, that's the emergency stop button. So that you don't damage your machine. Alright, so that seems pretty good. Uh, to lift it back up, you just hit up five or six times to get it so that it's high enough to go over top of your fat. Then we just swap that guy out for this one. Maybe I should clean this first. And I use microfiber towel. You don't want to press super hard, you just want to get the residue out of here. And, uh oh. Nope, I think we're still okay. Might need to be doing a video on how to replace this up here pretty soon. This cleaned up. I've got a pretty good dent in the fat, but I don't know if that's going to cause a problem or not. I'm hoping for not. So, anyways, uh, this is going to pretty much wrap this up. I've got some resin that I got for Christmas. I got some Elegoo, and it's the gray, and I've got also the clear, the translucent. So I'm going to do some prints with those and see how this new build surface works out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, and of course, I forgot one of the most important parts. 
you got to add the sticker. Hopefully that slug will kind of stuck on me right away. Alright guys, so the print is finished here on that. Looks like it came out pretty good. I got my uh, bath set up here for it. Part of it come loose. right down. There we go. Alright, now we can wipe this guy off. So I'm thinking uh, prints with more volume stuck to the plate are probably better for this style. So, upon closer inspection, I mean, it still looks really cool and the detail on it and everything, but if you notice the little handrail in there that's supposed to run around the center, there's no bars going uh, vertically. But it looks really cool. 